we will do some simple questions on equilibrium constant. And before that, we will just recollect what an equilibrium constant is. For the reaction given there, 3A giving you B plus 2C, the equilibrium constant is concentration of the product divided by the concentration of the reactant. Remember to raise, raise the concentration to the power of the stoichiometry. One other formula you have to remember is molarity equals moles over liter. And you also learned the relation between Kp and Kc. And Kp equals Kc, Rt raised the power of delta n. So the things to remember over here is R should be in the unit of liter atmosphere moles per k and the unit of temperature is Kelvin and delta N we have to consider only gases to calculate delta N which is the moles of product minus the moles of reactant. We will start with the first question on equilibrium constant. Calculate the equilibrium constant for the reaction given below. The equilibrium concentrations are 5 molar, 2 molar and 0 0.8 molar for A, B and C respectively. The equation given is 2A plus B uh, giving you 3C. It's a simple question. Concentration is, are given. Write down the equilibrium constant. Equilibrium constant is concentration of C raised to the power of 3 divided by concentration of A raised to the power of 2, concentration of B. Substitute the values in it and I get the value of Kc as 1.0 10 to the power of negative 2. And as mentioned below, uh, mentioned before also, equilibrium constants do not have any units. We will do question number 2 now. Calculate the equilibrium constant for the reaction given below that takes place in a container of volume 5 liters. The equilibrium moles are 3, 4, 0 0.6 and 1.2 for A, B, C and D respectively and the reaction given is A plus 2B giving you 3C plus 2D. All the reactants and uh, products are gases. So if you notice here, writing the equilibrium constant reaction, Kc is not difficult, you just write product over reactant. But if you notice that what's uh, not given is the concentration. It's only the moles are given but you see there is an additional uh, term called volume is given. So we know that molarity equals moles over liter. Therefore concentration can be calculated by dividing the moles by uh, the volume and hence the, when you substitute the values for concentration in Kc, I get Kc equals 0 0.6 divided by 5 raised to the power of 3, 1.2 divided by 5 raised to the power of 2 and so on. In order to solve this, don't, uh, it will become compli complicated with too many cubes and squares. If you look at it carefully, on from the reactants, I get uh, 1, uh, 3 over 5, 1, 5 from 3 over 5 and 2, 5 from 4 over 5. And at the top, I have total 5, 5. So cancel the 5 and the equation simplifies as shown. And when you ca solve this, I get the value of Kc as 3 times 10 to the power of negative 4. Calculate the equilibrium constant for the reaction given below. The equilibrium concentrations are 4.5 molars, 0.7 molar and 0 0.6 molar for A, B and C respectively. Also calculate Kp at 25 degrees Celsius. They have given you two equations, uh, one written in red, one written in blue. We will focus on the left hand side now, 2A giving you 2B plus C. So calculate Kc, uh, simple one, because Kc is uh, concentration of B raised to the power of 2, concentration of C divided by concentration of A raised to the power of 2. Substitute the concentrations in and I get Kc as 1.5 times 10 to the power of negative 2. Now in order to calculate Kp, we know the equation Kp equals Kc RT raised to the power of delta N. Delta N is number of moles in the product side minus the reactant side. Therefore, delta N is 3 minus 2. And uh, remember to convert the temperature to Kelvin and use the value of R as 0 0.0821. And I get the value of Kp equals 3.7 10 to the power of negative 1. Now, let's focus on the equation on the right hand side. 3A giving you B plus 2C, just similar to what we did before. And uh, substitute the values for concentration and get the value of Kc. And then to calculate Kp, 
again the same thing but in this case if you see that the reaction is different and hence the number of moles in the product is equal to the number of moles in the reactant and therefore delta n becomes zero and this is a case in which kp equals kc question number four calculate kc for the reaction at 25 degrees celsius when equilibrium partial pressures of a b c and d are 2 5 1.8 and 1.2 atmosphere respectively the equation is given so if you notice that how it is different from the previous question in this case the concentration is not given but the equilibrium pressure is given therefore the first thing we will calculate will be kp calculate kp and uh, kp is the same as kc you know that it is product over reactant and i get the value of kp and to get kc from kp we use the same equation which you have been using and in this case again delta n becomes equal to zero so hence K, kp and kc are equal question number five calculate kp for the reaction if kc is 3.5 10 to the power of negative 3 at 25 degrees celsius must be wondering why i am repeating the same question again and again but the reason why this is taken is this is a case in which delta n is negative i have one mole on the product side and three moles on the reactant side and uh, out of the three moles on the reactant side you could see that one of them is a solid therefore we should not consider it therefore delta n in this case is one minus two the moles of a solid should not be considered and uh, rest of the thing is simpler substitute the values for kc and uh, r and the uh, temperature and delta n is 1 minus 2 and calculate the value of kp question 